December 20, <laughs> December 30th, 2.17pm, <laughs> 2 District Court, Defendant Lobby, number 5. I hope you're ready to wrap up this case, because we're getting close to the end. Uh, as you may recall, we basically figured out what happened, we just need to explain why it happened. The motive, which is the part we haven't figured out yet. Um, yes, no matter how ridiculous everything in the previous part sounded, it is exactly what really happened. This case is absurd. Anyway, motive time. I can't believe it, Acro. It's pretty shocking, isn't it? It definitely is, and to think he was always the most straightforward of the group. Jeebus, am I that hated? Ahem, I don't know who that is. Acro tried to pin the murder on you on purpose. He... he did? Psst, psst, cough. I don't know, I don't know who's doing that, so I don't know what voice to use. Psst, psst, ahem. But, but, I'm nothing but a little old nobody, you know? But you're not, but you're not. Which is kind of the reason why... Oh, it's Gumshoe. Hey, hey pal. You're gonna ignore me after I went to all the trouble to bring you some evidence? Ah, Detective Gumshoe. Oh, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyways. Wow. A cab. Even Detective Gumshoe. A cab. No, no, Detective, I'm sorry. Look, why don't you relax a little? We've got some really tasty milk. How about a card, Trick Detective? Ho ho ho, well, if you insist. Now, about that evidence you mentioned, what is it? Here you go. Huh? This was yesterday in Acro's room. Yup, and I've included the forensic results. Take a look at it later. Won't this one come be mad that you're doing this? That's why this is all a secret. <gasps> He's doing a secret thing. Huh? Look, details are on a need-to-know basis, and we're not really allies or anything, but everything that's happened in court up, to now, until, up until now has gone according to our plan. I don't know, Miss Von Karma didn't seem in control of things in there just now. You'll figure it out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plans were set into motion. Final plans? Uh-huh. That reminds me, I've got a message from the prosecutor for you. Nothing is ever truly decided until the very end. That's it. And that's it for me too, pal. I'm out of here. What did he mean by that? The very end part? I'm not sure. It was all pretty cryptic to me. Oh, one more thing. Ah! It scared me like that. Looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. What? For me? It's milk. The reception area looks like some kind of dairy, so hurry up and drink it all before it spoils. An entire dairy's worth of milk? For me? So much milk. <laughs> December 30th, 2.27pm, District Court, courtroom number 2. Court time. Court is now back in session. Ms. Von Karma, please continue from where you left off. I'd like to continue Viv Acro's testimony, starting Viv his relationship to the victim. I'd also like to get proofs in, from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Acro would have to commit this crime. Understood. Now, Mr. Dingling. Yes, Your Honor. Please proceed with your testimony. Finally, we get to the motive. Wait, Nick, are you okay? Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Ooh. Ooh. About the Ringmaster. When we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. That's when the Ringmaster of the very big circus, Russell Berry, took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. I wanted to find a way to repay the Ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Hmm. Such a thoughtful young man. As you heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone could think that Akarov would kill the man he held in such esteem. You are absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? 
Which is why there's no real need for a cross-examination, is there? Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. Why would Acro kill the Ringmaster? This might be my last chance to answer that question. Well... Everything he said there is completely true. He's not... We can't contradict this cross... this some um, testimony. It's just not relevant. So, I'm gonna try saying no need to question him now and see if that'll let us move on to what his real motive is. Because I happen to know what it is and it's not anything in that testimony. There's no need to cross-examine this witness. W what's that? Why was the Ringmaster murdered? There is no need to delve into that bit of testimony when I know the answer already. Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Your Honor. I would just like to know, can you provide any explanations to why Acro would want the Ringmaster dead? No. No, I can't. Nick? Yeah, I didn't have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Acro killed the Ringmaster is something that can't be proven. What? That's because Acro had no reason to kill the Ringmaster at all. Ow! Your foolish attempts to fool us like foolish fools is so foolheartedly foolheartish. Did you forget you made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I believe it was, this is the real killer of Russell Berry, Ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. The end of things? Acro. You didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, did you? The Ringmaster wasn't your target that night. What did you just say? I'm saying that the target of this witness's murderous plot was not the Ringmaster. Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. V what? Order, order! Bailiff, I don't care who it is, smack anyone who's loud in the face, twice if you must. Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to my court? Ow! Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to his court? Are you tempted to imply that Acro was trying to kill someone else? Yes. Yes, Acro was not trying to kill the Ringmaster. Acro was trying to kill the Ringmaster's daughter, Regina Berry. Take that! Regina Berry? This young girl is the Ringmaster's daughter, correct? Acro, you were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? You need to answer that, it's a mean-spirited leading question. He could easily answer this question. If I'm wrong, all I have to say is, you're wrong. That's it. That's it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Enough. Mr. Wright, allow me to... Ow! The only thing allowed to interrupt me is death itself. Huh? And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Show me evidence, now. I'd want to know why Acro would want to kill Regina Berry. Y yes me too, I demand to see some proof. Present evidence that proves Acro was out to kill this young girl. Okay, so the evidence is this note, right? Because Acro gave it to Regina and it says, To the murderer, I have conclusive evidence, blah 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 blah. It's a threatening letter. Acro, you remember this, don't you? That's... It's a piece of paper that we found inside the Ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat? Acro wrote this note. It's ironically entitled, To the Murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10pm. So you're saying that he called Russell Berry with that note? Yes, but there's just one little problem. Problem? Acro did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the Ringmaster. You mean, it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for was none other than Regina Berry. Order, order, order! M Mr. Wright, this little theory of yours. It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory, that's what theories are. That's, that's what a theory is. It, it's, it's an explanation of an observed phenomenon. 
but that's the truth. <sighs> Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her. Which is why, the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. That's when her father, I mean the ringmaster, saw the note? That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in that plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake. Instead of Regina. That's, that's, that's incredible. Remember the testimony that Echo gave us earlier today? Lifting the bus and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window myself. Acro had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza, because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. I've got it, I've got it, Acro thought it was Regina down in the plaza. And that's when he let the bust fly. Hey Nick, isn't Regina listening to all of this from the audience? She is. Unfortunately, it's only going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. Acro wrote this note to Regina. Objection! Foolishly foolish fool, viv foolishly foolish fool, ideas of foolish tomfoolery. You're so foolish you even made me sound like a foolhardy fool. Very well. Very well, Mr. Phoenix. Right. If you're so sure, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Yes? What about that line? Well, if the note was meant for Regina Berry, it would mean that... This note is declaring that Regina Berry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? The ringmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza. In place of his lovely daughter. Hold it right there, Mr. Rat. What is this incident that is alluded to in the note? The incident six months ago. An incident occurred six months ago, and now I am more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. Moron. Wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has its start in what happened six months ago. Really, Nick? I, um, I think so. Well then, that's the case. Hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know I'd certainly like to know what it is. If I can't answer that question, the judge is going to think I'm bluffing. The conclusive evidence about the incident six months ago is actually... Okay, so we don't explicitly know what this piece of evidence is, but it's something Acro had, and he was threatening... Regina with. And this pepper was found inside the box that the ringmaster was retrieving. So this pepper is the evidence. Uh, you might be able to figure out what it is based on why this ev is conclusive evidence based on what else we've seen at this point. But yeah, that's the piece of evidence. Hmm. Achoo! <coughs> Achoo! 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 What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It isn't a joke at all. It's the decisive evidence you asked for. What do you mean? Recall that the victim was trying to take the wooden box away with him. He was doing so because this piece of de decisive evidence is what was inside. Another unbelievable conclusion. Very well, Mr. Wright. So what exactly are you saying? Are you claiming Regina Berry killed someone with a small bottle of pepper? Taking that into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Foolish fool who never tires of his own foolish vase. If you're so sure, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then answer this question. Who was Regina Berry's intended victim? I mean, she, she didn't try to kill him, but it's, it's this guy, it's Sean. Who is this? That is Akro's younger brother. What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that's true. However, Bat has become, been in a coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Akira could feel that his brother is dead. Regina, she did that to him? Do you spend your entire life doing up new vase to be a fool? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Akira's brother, Sean Dingling. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. A lion? 
Regina. I mean, Ms. Regina Berry is an animal tamer by trade. However, however, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. She's right. Hmm. So then what happened to Echo's brother? He's not the victim of attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? I mean, y yes. Y yes, it was an accident. Acro could blame Regina for it because of how it happened, but it was an accident. I suppose it was truly an accident. It's essential that a man knows Ven to give up, Mr. Phoenix, right. Hmm. It's impossible to prove Miss Barry's involvement in a murder attempt, isn't it? Huh. Instigating a lion to attack. Who ever heard of something like that? And to think that the defense claimed this was conclusive evidence. Ugh. Small bottle of pepper. A lion. What's their connection? Ah! What's the matter, Nick? I figured it out. Wow, it was right in front of my nose the entire time. Your Honor, wait. What is it? The lion biting bat was no accident at all. It, it was an accident. It was. Like, Regina caused it, but she didn't intend to. It is an accident. <laughs> What? Such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix of Right. There is no way that Regina would ever incite her lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being, but Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Akro's brother, Bat. Okay, so it's this scarf, right? This scarf that she got, that, 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 that he got, that Bat got, from Regina, which has pepper on it. And it's why the lion sneezed, which is why Bat got bit. That's... that's just a scarf. Acro. This scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who is the one that gave this scarf to Bat? R Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina. There is something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. And what might that be? Pepper. Pepper? Pepper. <laughs> Regina gave this scarf to Bat right before the accident, and she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? Um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of fingering a criminal, but out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um... Miss Barry gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? Still seems like the judge just doesn't get it. Mr. Phoenix writes, Wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and it looked like he was... smiling. Lions smile? I've never heard of some smiling. However, lion sneeze. Whoa, 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 whoa. Leon wasn't trying to bite Bat at all. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scar. What? You fool! <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Objection. What's the matter, Miss Funkama? I, I, I object for objection's sake. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you, this theory, you believe it? You really intend to say that this is how this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do, it's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot. Huh. <laughs> 
It almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was true? A aqua You don't mean... you can't mean... Witness? Uh, are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion... I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I drop Max's bust on top of the ringmaster... Where is the evidence that proves that claim? Uh, okay, so we've proven his motive. So now we're just going back to proving the fact that he did it in the first place again. Uh, it's pretty easy, actually. Mm -hmm. You mean the conclusive evidence? So the biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof to be more precise. The murder weapon. The bust the defense claims was used. If that were to be found in Acro's room, and if it was covered in the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bust. Nick, you've got to do something! This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. It might be worthwhile to search Acro's room, but... Why aren't you going to search his room? Looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Now you know the true meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. I, I guess? I figured with you, that's the least I should expect. You'd leave no stone unturned. A Von Karma never leaves anything to chance. V already searched Akra's room yesterday. W what did you find? There's no reason to even say it. If V found what you think V did in that room, Akra would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it, Max's bust was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright? The bust wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise, and we took Acro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. End of story. Just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. <laughs> It looks like you lack the final nail to put into my coffin. But, but, what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offence, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the Ringmaster. You should know that by now. Ugh. Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. The bust, where is it now? Hmm, where's the bust right now? Your phoenix right, you know where that bust is, I'm sure you do. There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bust is? It seems this case is coming to a close. The defense's counter-arguments look to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. Ack! Okay, but... There's like no possible way Max did it. Because flying is impossible. So, I am I trying to defend Max? This game never makes any sense. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings to an end to cross-examination of this witness. Hold it. Where is Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare to present its lace. I mean case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. Huh? What? Any time to do what? Ow! Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Do you really have a, uh, a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? Are you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. H hey, wait. Y you can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives on the lines, don't they? That's how Acro's lived his life up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. 
If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well. The defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue. I don't think I'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic, there's no room for a false step. Sink or swim, the only way through is forward. The murder weapon. There is Max's bust now. Okay, so... I know exactly where it is, and I think this is a really terrible leap in logic. It's in the courtroom. And I think it doesn't ad adequately foreshadow this fact. You have to know that it's in the courtroom to be able to figure this out. It's obvious. The bust is inside this very courtroom. It... it's obviously where? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bust once and for all. The bust is underneath Akro's wheelchair. Now, if you've seen a wheelchair before, you might question that, because a lot of wheelchairs don't have a space underneath the chair for storing things. This one does, but a lot of them don't. And we haven't actually seen the bottom half of Akro's wheelchair at any point until right now. Acro, I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? I'm sorry, I didn't, didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you're a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. See, this is the thing, there, there's not always a shelf at the bottom of a wheelchair for keeping something in. Like a bust. It does... It's just a really weird assumption. They have this sprite that shows the bottom half of his wheelchair, and the fact that you can hide something there, but they only show right now at the very end, which doesn't give you an opportunity to figure it out beforehand. I'm annoyed. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humour hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she'd found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it in the only place that you could hide. You could hide it. Under your wheelchair. Which is why, Akro, I have to ask you again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. You, you fool! How could you... So yeah, this case isn't great. <laughs> You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Francisca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch a surprise search on my room last night? There were two pieces of decisive evidence, the cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Eugenia always took my trash out every morning, you know? But the bust, obviously I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. So you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Ms. Von Karma. Hmm, it all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing. Uh-huh. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I sure couldn't. I can't believe it. Me. Make a mistake. Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that. It seems we've finally arrived. The truth. 
Acro. Yes, Your Honor? Did you kill the ringmaster of the very big circus, Mr. Russell Berry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he'd tease her. Oh, she's a child, a bat. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times too. But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star, Regina believes in that so purely that she would laugh innocently when saying it, too innocently. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful. So are you saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? No, that's not what I mean. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first, I thought I'd kill myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. But I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. I just... I just... I just couldn't up and leave yet. This has been such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm an idiot. I can't believe it. You beat me again. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty. Yay! This court is adjourned. December 30th, 4.27pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 5. <laughs> Fabulous! But to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Acro, the Ringmaster, Regina, and Bat. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? Um... Um... I, I, think, I think some of them were bad people. Because they were trying to, trying to date a child. Uh, I think that was bad. <sighs> That's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. Many congrats, but only at max a million of them. Thank you. What's with the vibe in this room? I'm just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, they'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? <laughs> She's been like this for a while now. It's all my fault! S -s -s sweetie, sweetie pie. That macro, they're never coming back. Now, now everyone's gonna split up. Regina. Mr. Wright, tell me something. What do you want to know, Regina? Akra said something right at the end. I just couldn't up and leave yet. Does that mean that Akra... Is he going to try and get his revenge on me? He's not going to do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? You're really sure? I can believe that? Yeah, Akra doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I want to see some evidence. Huh? I want to know you're not just making up that stuff about Acro not wanting revenge. Okay, so the real reason Acro couldn't leave is because he's got to wait for Bat. Because Bat's not actually dead, he's in a coma. Acro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. But Bat? That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. I... Never knew. 
But now that Acro's been caught... Uh-huh. I know. What? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes. Until he opens his eyes, and then he until he can meet Acro again. It's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Acro. I'm sorry, Bat. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max. What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So, whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay you a fee and rip off the contract. I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. What's going to happen to the circus now? Uh, that's the big question. Ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. What is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn this circus into the best circus the world has ever seen. The best circus the world has ever seen. D -d -d Don't laugh. That's quite the goal. Yay, I can't wait. Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means this circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max. Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um, Regina, you can help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Uh... We've got to work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been. M Mo. Mo's right, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circus without Regina Berry. M Max. Nick. Seems like everything is going to turn out alright here. I can't wait to go see the best circus the world has ever seen. We'll save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats. I see. What made the case? Yesterday's surprise raid. It really paid off, just like you said it would, sir. Um, you had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just a theory. If Acro really was the killer, I thought this was the only way it could end. Especially if he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? Of course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Acro's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Edgeworth. <gasps> Mr. Edgeworth. He's back. <laughs> okay, so that's turn about Big Top. Over, at last. It's more or less the worst case in the series, so it's good that it's over, because Farewell My Turnabout is coming up, and that case is fantastic. So, I'm really excited to get get on to this one, because it's really good. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time we start Farewell My Turnabout. Yeah. Um, and then we get to move on to the third game, once we've done that case, but it's kind of long, so that'll be for a while. Not for a while.